Good morning, I'm coming into a crop alley here that's sitting uh, and waiting for rain. We're going to prune it and plant another zucchini crop here. But what I want to do is talk about the grasses. This hasn't been irrigated. It's been managed, but not irrigated. Of course, management's key. And I'll just show you some of the grasses outside. If we go out. Your grasses are pretty ordinary. There's nowhere near as much photosynthesis. Of course, there's a little bit of clear ground where we put a compost, but that's not really what I want to show you. It's the other grasses. But look, this grass here in the drought is just beautiful. But not only that, we've got beautiful green leaf photosynthesis and whatnot now. Uh, again, this is within the Syntropic Agroforestry Framework, what we've learned, learned from Brazil. Um, but what I'm trying to express here is the amount of photosynthesis, the carbon that's going into the ground, and how, with some minor changes, a little bit of framework design, you can create a phenomenal um, agro-silver pastoral system. Uh, this grass is just beautiful. It's Panicum maximum. Uh, it's medium strata. Because grasses, this information from Brazil has taught us that we, we, we have stratification in grasses. Something that's very important. Um, we've got very good healthy plants for animals to browse on in the tree row. Pigeon pea, banana, there's a lot of different stuff. Now, what I've found is, this is succession also, there's all these different species coming up. But what I've found is that with managed grazing, when you put animals in this, if you put animals in this right now, they're not going to destroy your trees at all. Even if this is solely a orchard and you've got sheep or cattle and you might want to put another meter across, you know, in row spacing if you want to, and you may not want to put this into alley crop in if you've got a very large scale and you're not growing vegetables. We put annuals in these. But you will have such a spectrum of feed available to animals with a very good, productive, moderate, moderated microclimate. Uh, they can eat your avocado. They can eat your citrus. They can eat your banana. You don't want to bunch the banana that they eat the leaves off, but bunching the bananas in these systems is probably 30% of the utility of that plant. But there's something really really valuable in this it, they, the cattle moving through this in timed presence will not damage your your fruit crops they will they will give it a service prune i've watched it i've done it i'll nibble a bit of everything and then it's time to go because they'll start overgrazing plants otherwise and that's what we do as regenerative farmers we manage the grazing so i just want to uh, share the enormous potential of this agro silver pasture that we can do because I've had my cattle in here and they will eat a bit of everything mostly the grass but they'll probably get up you know I don't know 30 percent to 40 percent browse they'll medicate on all different levels they'll mineralize on all of the trees you, you're going to have some seriously healthy cattle and this is something we're going to play with when it rains maybe early next year or or whatnot we're going to uh, start experimenting with it but the amount of leaf available to the animals and what's in those leaves is just so much different than just a single um, plane of pasture 